Welcome to a new video in Fusion Dive In. Today I want to show you how to create a panel of several boards. Sometimes the board manufacturer prefers to have a number of especially smaller panels in one file so it's easier to handle. If you want to do so, um, there are two steps. Fusion Electronics does not have a dedicated function for it, but you can use a ULP to duplicate the names of the components so that they do not change on the silk screen on the board. And yes, you have to cut and paste a number of boards into one common board file. So what we will do is first I would like to create a new electronics project. You see here is still a project open. That's the board I would like to duplicate. And I simply go here and say, okay, new electronics design. Here it is, it's untitled, and I would like to create a new board file. In this case, I do not need a schematic because I only want to see the boards. So here I am, a new board file. Let me save it. I would simply name it panel. Here we are. Okay, that's our new board file. You see on the tabs here, that's my power supply design. And this is the first board I would like to have in the panel. The first step is, I would like to duplicate my name layers. You see, I have names D7, D8 and so on. And this should be copied into a new layer so that it does not change when a number of board is in one common file, which would happen. Okay, so let me go to automation and click on to the run ULP button. And here I search for panelize ULP. Here we are, and I click on it and simply say OK. Here you see a window that shows me all the commands that are executed, and I simply click Execute. Waiting a bit, and then we will see, here you already see that the, the color of the designators changes. And what happened now is, you see it here, we have a new layer, 125 underlying T names. That's a copy of the text that was in the original T names layer. And that's what we need, and that's what the board manufacturer needs to use for exporting our data then. Okay, first step. Now, I would like to bring it into my panel. What I do is, first step, I go to design and switch on all layers to be sure everything that's on the board um, will come into the new board. I do shift and click on the bottom, everything is marked, show layers, everything is displayed. I say OK, that's it. What I do now is drag a group around everything and click copy. And now it's in the clipboard. Now I go into my panel V1, version 1. And there I have the paste command. Before you click paste, be sure to switch off the push violators. Makes sense, not at the moment, but I'm thinking of it and now I do it and say, okay, ignore violators. That's the mode we should use so that it's easy to place it. Now click paste. I come here and you see the board file is following the mouse cursor and I can place it. Click. And it's copied. Now you see the polygon is calculated, all the stuff. You see the canvas has a different color because the contour detection works, but that's okay. I would like to have a second one of these. So I simply click paste again. Here it comes and I can place it again. Okay, if I place it now, um, the contour detection switches off because we have several contours and that's not easy to detect. And so I have placed two of these boards. And let me add another one. Um, let me go into my folder here, data panel, electronics, and let's look for, I don't know what we have here, maybe is something. There is a demo 2 board. Um, I had to open it before if I, if I need the designators correctly in my board then I have to run the ULP, the Panelize ULP again, as we did for the board before. Uh, and then I can bring it into my panel. Now I double, simply double click the board here. I don't open the whole project 
in this case, I just double click it and open it. Here it is. Now, as I said, I want to see the correct naming. I go to automation as we did before, ULP, search for panelize, so scroll down or simply type panel and then you see it already here. Okay, the script, execute. Here it is, it's done. Now, please, as we did before, switch on all layers so that everything, oh, everything is already on. Just check it in this case and say, okay, that's, that's all right. Zoom out of it and now I drag a group again. It's everything in the group and click on to copy. Here we are. And now I switch into my panel back here, zoom out of it. And now again, I use the paste, drag it in. And here I have my next board. And that's the way how I can create a panel. Just to be sure, one thing I want to mention. You see, that's the first one I placed and that's the second board I placed. Um, if I go here, you see we have different namings. Sure, because I combine several boards. Each of them has a SW1 because that's the name of the switch. And electronics automatically continues the naming because the name has to be unique. So in this case, we ran the ULP before. So the naming SW1 was copied into layer 125. And now you see it both here. If you send this board to the board manufacturer or you create manufacturing data, Gerber data from it, please be sure that you do not use the layer 25 top names but you have to use layer 125, the copy of the names, and this one you need for the board manufacturer. The same would happen automatically, of course, if you have components on top and the bottom, then you will have two new layers, layer 125 and 126. So that's basically, let's check here, scroll down. Oh yeah, there's some more layers, there's custom layers, but this one, the 125 is the one we see here. Okay, that's the way how you get the panel. Now you can create manufacturing data of it and send it to your manufacturer. Thank you. I hope this helps. Bye.